The new DJI Neo is a new 3-in-1 hybrid drone that works like a selfie drone, a camera drone and an FPV drone at a super low entry level price. But is this the drone for you and if you should get it, let's stick around and find out. Hey what's up guys, welcome to Alan Gadgets. So today I want to talk all about the new DJI Neo. This little drone is casting a wide net to three general groups of drone users. Before I go into the detail, I would like you to please click on the like button and share this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for future notification. And with that out of the way, let's go into the detail. So for the first group of users, you can use this as a selfie drone or vlogging drone that requires no remote control and no requirement of any piloting flying skill. Many would consider this to be a direct competitor to the whole for X1, one of the more successful selfie drone that could take out from your palm that doesn't require any remote control and it will be right. If you have seen the video on my review on the Hover X1, you will find that that drone is meant for a selfie vlogging drone at the same time for people who have zero piloting skill and you can use the DJI Neo for the exact purpose. So with this drone without the remote controller, you can do most of the quick shot mode and that will be useful for someone who just want to do video without the need to learn how to fly a drone. But if I were to compare this to the Hover X1 just on the surface, I would say it's a no-brainer. This would win hands down because of the video quality and at a much lower price I think it's almost half the price if not near half the price of a Hover X1 the only thing that this might lose out is it's not foldable you can fold into a smaller form factor like the Hover X1 in its defense because I think this drone is also meant to fly as an FPV drone as an option they can't allow the propeller guard to be bent because any weak point would be fragile in high speed flying of an FPV drone during those sharp turns, flipping and turning in high speed for the purpose of structure integrity I suppose. So for the second group or user, you can use this like a regular camera pro like the Mini 4 with a remote controller. As far as I know, this can be controlled with three of the standard uh, camera drone remote controller which is the RC2, RCN2 and the new RCN3 but I didn't get the RCN3 because I already have the RC2 from the Air 3 so I don't need to lug around another controller I can just use the same controller for both the Air 3 and my new so like I said you can use it like a Mini 4 Pro but just take note that it doesn't have any collision avoidance system especially during those quick shot mode be very mindful of the path that it will take and make sure there's no obstacle along those paths or within those paths it will just ram into it without any any detection at all and because of a small frame small propeller and small motor it cannot stand up to strong wind please be mindful of flying it too high or in a too windy area it will not be staying stable very well and might be blown away or crashed last but not least the third group are the FPV pilots you can fly this as an FPV drone with the appropriate goggles and controller at the moment I think it's only compatible with the goggles tree and the remote controller tree and I think with an updated firmware in the future somewhere down the road they should include the goggle 2, Integra and the remote controller 2 I would like to split this FPV group into three subgroups that I think would be useful with this DJI Neo as an FPV drone the first group would be totally new FPV beginner to learn with I think this is a much cheaper and affordable option as compared to the Avatar and Avatar 2 The second subgroup is to use this as a mini whoop to go through spaces that are cramped, tight and small to further reducing the risk as you were to fly with the Avatar and for the third subgroup are people like myself who are already into FPV but not an expert yet so I want to pick up new technique a uh, more complex maneuver and I want to practice them using this drone instead of my avatar because this is much cheaper to replace like I mentioned at the opening of the video this is the first drone attempt from DJI that is a hybrid drone to capture three different user groups I will call this the jack of all trade master of one because with this size as compared to the Hobo X1 it works very well as a selfie drone it fulfills all the needs of a selfie drone and for someone who doesn't need to learn how to fly a drone this is the best case scenario for this drone one of the best features for vlogging on this drone is that you can record your voice over directly into the video using the DJI app on the phone and at the same time it will cancel out all noises of the propellers coming out from the drone so no matter how near you are to the drone it will totally cancel out the propeller noise 
voice and you will hear nothing at all except your own voice over. So speaking of the jack of all trade master to one, that is the only area that it really excels in. The other two areas, if you're flying it as a camera drone or FPV drone, you're basically at the mercy of wind conditions. If you're flying as a camera drone, try not to go too high or too far or in a very strong wind condition. For FPV, the same outdoor, but it will be more practical to fly indoor where the wind condition is much controllable. Using this size of a tiny whoop, you can go through smaller and tighter areas and space. Other shortcomings on this drone as compared to other families of drone from DJI besides it being small and poor resistant to wind. It only records up to 4K 30 and not 60. It doesn't record in lock color profile. It doesn't capture raw photos only in JPEG. There is no wide angle view from the lens. You can disable the EIS which is the internal stabilization. So you can use gyro flow to apply stabilization post recording. I hope that they will add them back in the future firmware update many capturing photo in RAW, recording in log format and the option to disable the in-camera body stabilization. I'll be going on a vacation to Japan in November. I'll be extensively recording the trip, doing in-depth review on both my DJI Neo and DJI Action 5 Pro. If you are interested in those video and review and other camera drones and gadgets, do subscribe to my channel click on the bell button for a notification and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!